As Japan faces with the repercussions of inflation surging to 3.3% in October, exceeding the targeted 2%, a pressing question emerges. Are the escalating prices in Japan exerting a substantial strain on the purchasing power of its citizens? This economic problem not only raises concerns about the financial well-being of individuals, but also prompts a closer look at the measures undertaken by the government to navigate these turbulent waters. Can the government make the right moves to balance the clash between higher prices and people's financial stability? We'll have to wait and see as the story of Japan's economy keeps developing. Welcome to Live Economic News. Make sure to subscribe, activate the bell and like when is a meaningful economic recovery expected and what factors are anticipated to contribute to it. How will the middle of 2024 mark a turning point with rising incomes and easing price pressures? Japan's struggle for economic comeback. Japan is currently grappling with economic challenges as rising prices outpace income growth, reducing its citizens' purchasing power. The situation has prompted a decline in consumer spending, contributing to economic concerns. Efforts by the government and monetary authorities to address these issues are underway, with measures such as providing additional financial assistance and reducing taxes to alleviate the burden on individuals. The economic outlook suggests that a meaningful recovery may materialize in the middle of 2024, when it is anticipated that incomes will rise and price pressures will ease. Simultaneously, Japan is experiencing a slowdown in its exports to other countries, while overall exports in October showed a marginal increase of 1.6%. The growth was primarily driven by a surge in car shipments to the United States, Europe, and China. However, other critical exports like food and gadgets did not grow substantially. The global economic slowdown is affecting how Japan can share its diverse products with the world. This change in export dynamics reflects a shift in demand for certain goods, reminiscent of the varying popularity of toys when shared among friends. Furthermore, the robust export performance of Japanese cars, a notable contributor to the nation's economic strength, might face headwinds. Factors such as resolving a significant strike involving U.S. auto workers and increasing interest rates leading to higher car prices impact consumer preferences. Additionally, the appreciation of the Japanese yen further complicates the situation, potentially limiting the competitiveness of Japanese cars in the global market. While November showcased positive outcomes for car exports, signs of a slowdown emerged in December, highlighting the need for adaptability in response to evolving economic conditions. Just as children must adjust their sharing strategies based on changing circumstances, Japan's export landscape is undergoing shifts that necessitate a flexible approach to sustain its global trade. While Japan's inflation is less pronounced than in the United States and Europe, how is the country uniquely addressing the situation? What distinguishes Japan's approach from regions where monetary rates were raised to control inflation? Japan's money plan and tricky inflation the current economic challenge in Japan centers around inflation, where prices of goods and services are rising. In October, inflation reached 3.3%, exceeding the targeted 2%. Notably, the cost of goods, including toys and candies, increased by 4.4%, while food prices sized deeper surge at 8.6%. Services experienced a milder uptick at 2.1%. The Western core, a sophisticated inflation measure, reached 2.8%, marking a significant high. While Japan's inflation is less pronounced than in the United States and Europe, where monetary rates were raised to control it, Japan is approaching the situation uniquely, playing catch-up without reaching similar heights. However, potential changes loom for 2024 as Japan contemplates altering its monetary policies. Talks among influential figures, including the bank's deputy governor, suggest a possible increase in money rates, transitioning away from the current negative interest rates. The economy is deemed capable of handling this adjustment. Yet, caution prevails, considering the persistent inflationary trend since April 2022. Discussions indicate a cautious approach, emphasizing the need to ensure people earn more before implementing changes, akin to providing fair candy trades among friends. This careful maneuvering is crucial to avoid hampering income growth and restraining the desired price increase. Moving to financial strategies, what change in investment patterns is observed among the Japanese population due to rising prices? On the flip side, what concerns arise from the government's substantial debt? 
especially if interest rates significantly increase. How might this impact future government decisions and taxation? How money at work is changing? So, let's talk about people's money at work. In October, for the significant places with 30 or more workers, the total cash they gave out went up by 2.3% from the year before. Sounds good. But here's the tricky part, when you take away how much things cost, inflation, the real money people took home went down by 1.6%. It's like having a bunch of candies, but when you trade them for toys, you get a bit less. Now, when we look at the regular money people get for working, not including extra stuff like overtime and bonuses, it went up by 2.3% in those prominent places. That's the same as in 1995, which is pretty cool. But here's the thing, the ones who got the most extra money were the part-time workers, not the full-time ones. Those who work full-time get only 1.6% more money. And if we check out the smaller businesses, the money they gave out went up by just 1.5%. There's the unemployment rate, which tells us how many people don't have jobs. It was going down for a while, but lately, it's gone up a bit to 2.5%. That's still low compared to other places, but it's higher than before our significant sickness. And the number of jobs available has decreased since June 2023, so finding a job is more challenging. But here's the exciting part, there's something called Shunto every spring. It's like a particular time when big companies decide how much money they'll give people. Usually, they announce it in March or April. This time is crucial because it sets the standard for other companies to decide how much they'll pay their workers. So, even though it seems like jobs and money are a bit tricky right now, things might get better when spring comes. The bosses might decide to give more money to make up for prices going up a lot. We'll have to wait and see, but the people in charge of money won't make any significant changes until April 2023. Before the big sickness, people didn't like investing their money in things that could protect them from rising prices. They kept a lot of their money as cash or in banks, way more than people do in the United States. But now, because prices are going up, they might start thinking about investing more in things like stocks. There's even this particular account where they won't have to pay taxes if they invest in stocks, and it's getting better in 2024. So, more people might start putting their money into these investment things. But there's a worry. The government owes a lot of money, like more than 200% of everything they make. They borrowed a lot when they had negative interest rates, which mean borrowing money was super cheap. If the interest rates go up, it might be harder for them to pay back all that money. It could mean they must make tough decisions about spending money or ask people to pay more taxes. Right now, things in Japan are out of balance. Prices are going up, but people's pay is going up slower. This makes it hard for the country to grow. It might improve in the second half of 2024, but it depends on Shinto this year. If people get more money, it might be easier for Japan to buy and sell things, mainly because other countries aren't buying much from them now. Japan faces economic challenges with rising inflation, affecting purchasing power and export dynamics. The country's unique approach to monetary policies and potential changes for 2024 add complexity. Employment trends, highlighted by the rising unemployment rate and concerns about government debt, further contribute to the delicate economic balance. The anticipation of Shinto and potential shifts in investment patterns are crucial factors in Japan's financial future, with uncertainties persisting into the second half of 2024. Given the uncertainties surrounding Japan's economic future, including the anticipation of Shinto, rising government debt, and potential shifts in investment patterns, what crucial elements, in your opinion, will dictate whether Japan's economic recovery is successful in the second half of 2024? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.